hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to inherit and add a new field into an existing form in odoo version 14 so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 14 community edition which i am accessing from my local instance so in this video what we are going to do is that here you can see we have already installed different modules inside this database like sales, accounting, employees, payroll, etc. So what we will be doing inside this video is that we will be inheriting the sales form view. So here you can see this is default Odoo sales form view. What we will be doing is that we will be inheriting this form view and we will be adding a new field right after the customer field. So let's see how we can do that. So I'll be going into the PyCharm. So here we have the PyCharm which is already configured with Odoo and we have our custom module OM hospital inside the custom add-ons path. So what we will be doing is that we will be in inheriting the corresponding model so if i go back to the browser in the url you can see the model is sale.order so first of all we have to inherit the corresponding model or database table and add a new field into it to hold the newly adding field so first of all we have to inherit the corresponding model and we have to add a field inside the database table so once we done that we will be adding it to the corresponding view so first of all we will be inheriting the corresponding model so either you can get the model name from the url so here you can see in the url you can see model equal to sale dot order or you can go to the settings and activate the developer mode so once i activate the developer mode you will be able to access the debug features so here you can see you will be getting the debugger button and if you click on edit view form here you can see the model that you have to inherit is sale.order so let's go to the pycharm and inside the models folder right now we have patient.py file so i'll be copying that file and i'll be adding a new file just i have copied the existing file copy and i will paste it inside the same file and i'll be changing the name to sale.py so once you give the name make sure that you will be giving the appropriate name for the file so i have copied it and i'll be removing unnecessary fields so i just need only a single field test description or I'll be giving as sale description so once even if you give a field name also give a proper name and I'll be giving the string as sale description and I'll be setting required false so either you can set a required equal to false or simply you can remove because by default the required will be set to false so that's done now we have to remove this so you know instead of giving name so right now the name is used to create a new model so right now we don't want to create a new model or we don't want to create a new database table instead we have to inherit the existing table so you have to give inherit we are going to inherit an existing table so the table that we are going to inherit is sale.order so i'll be copying the corresponding model name and i'll be pasting it here that is i'm going to inherit sale.order also i'll be changing the class name so once you give the name for the class use camel case so i have given the name for the class as sale order inherit so i have inherited the existing table and i have added a new field into it called sale description which is of type character so the string is given so i have added a new file here so don't forget to import it inside the init file so if you don't import it inside the init file it will not have any effect so i have just imported the newly created file inside the init file and inside the file i have inherited the sale.order model and added a field called sale description so i'll be just restarting the service now i'm go not going to add this field inside the view just we will be adding it to the corresponding database table so i'll be copying the module name that is om hospital so here you can see you are getting an error sale.order does not exist in the registry so you are getting once you restart the service itself you are getting an error sale.order does not exist in registry because we are using the model inside an another module like we don't have a model called sale order inside our module so if you check inside the odoo source code so i'll be copying this one and here i have the odoo source code and if i go and search inside the odoo source code for sale.order 
and if I search inside the Python so here you can see the filter option is XML I'll be changing it to the Python and you can see the name so you can see it is defined inside a module called sale so we have to copy this name and we have to add it as a depends for our module so i come back to our module and inside the manifest file we have an option called depends so inside the depends i'll be pasting the corresponding module name so you know we are inheriting a model sale.order which is defined inside the module called sale so we have to add it here so here you can see right now we are getting error sale.order order does not exist in registry so i have added sales as a dependent module for our module and i'll be just restarting the service and see whether we are getting the same error or not so right now there is no error like sale.order does not exist in registry because we have added in the depends so i'll be copying the module name now and i'll be going into the ui and i'll be upgrading the module so once you make changes inside the python make sure that the service has been restarted so as a new field is added definitely you need to upgrade the module for newly added field to get into the database table so we have successfully added the field now let's confirm it so i'll be going into the fields so under the settings we have technical and if you scroll down under the database structure and if it's in the fields menu i'll be doing one thing i'll be copying the new field name sale description and i'll be searching here for the field sale description so here you can see the sale description has been successfully added and if you take the view metadata you can see it has been added from the om hospital module that is our module so we have successfully added the new field into the corresponding model so that's done now what we have to do we have to inherit the corresponding form view so after the customer we need this name so we have to inherit this corresponding form view and add the newly added field into this view so let's see how we can do that so i'll be going back to the pycharm and i'll be closing the models folder and the views will be added inside the views folder so similarly what we have done for the models i'll be copying the patient.xml file and i'll be pasting with a rename like sale.xml so make sure that when you name the file give the name appropriately like sale inherit sale view.xml something like that you have to give always and i'll be removing all the unnecessary records so i'll be keeping or even i will remove this one and only keep this tag xml version 1.0 encoding utf8 and odoo tag and inside this one what we have to do is that we have to inherit the corresponding form view so the form view that we need to inherit is this one so we need to get its external id so to get its external id what you have to do is that you have to use the debugger button and click on edit view form so once you click on here you can get the external id of the corresponding view that is the id of this view is sale dot view order form so this is the form that we have to inherit so before taking that value i'll be going into the odoo source code and i'll be just searching for a sample i need to get name equal to inherit id so let me copy a template so that i can show you how to inherit an existing form view inherit id and let me search inside the xml so here you will be getting a lot of samples that you can use so i'll be simply copying a small sample yeah i'll be copying this one this record Control c and i'll be putting inside this folder so that's done and you can see the indentation is wrong so if you need to arrange the indentation you can click on ctrl a ctrl alt l so the indentations of the files will be all right so i have aligned it correctly and i'll be removing this section and what i will do so i'll be explaining the thing so first of all this is how you can inherit an existing form view the syntax so in the inherit id so i'll be starting from the inherit id in the inherit id you have to give the reference or the external id of the view that you have to inherit so i have already told you can get the external id of the record that you have to inherit from here that is external id equal to sale view order form so i'll be copying this and i'll be pasting it inside the rough of the inherit id so i have given successfully the inherit id so we have to inherit this form so we already have added sale you can see this view is added from the sale module that is sale dot so i have already added it 
added it inside the depends so if we check the manifest file it's already in our depends now what we have to do we have to specify which model that we are inheriting so to get the model name either you can get it from the url or you can get it from here so i'll be copying that one and i'll be putting here so this is the main thing that we have to focus on that is you have to specify the model name correctly and the inherit id also specify correctly and in the name you can give whatever you like so i'll be giving sale order you can either you can give sale order or you can give sale order inherited just to our purpose so you can give sale order inherited and in the id of the record i will copy this one and i'll be pasting it say the same you can give the idea same or you can give view sale order form inherit you can give like this so i have set the external id for the record model is ir.ui view so this is the syntax and name just focus only the model name and inherit id so i hope you get this so you can get these two things from here that is external id as well as the model name so once you've done that you can give the model name accordingly and you can assign a id for the record and the next line is field name archetype xml so this is the basic syntax and inside this you have to give like where we need to show the newly added field so i'll be adding a code field name equal to i'll explain what i'm doing partner id partner id position position i'll be giving after don't worry i'll be explaining what i'm doing Field name equal to and I'll be going into the models folder and from here I'll be copying the name of the newly created field and I'll be coming here and I'll be putting here so what I have done is that so we need to add new field into the view so if I need to add this into the view I have to tell the position like where I have to add this field so if I go to the form view and if I close this and if I place my mouse here you can see the field name of the customer is partner underscore ID so this pop-up will be coming only if you activate the debug mode so once you activate the debug mode and if you place the mouse over the corresponding field you will be getting its technical name that is the technical name of the field so the technical name of the field customer is partner id you can see in the pop-up partner id so i'm saying to the code that i need to add the new field after this field that is field name partner id position after i'm going to add this field and if you need to come this before the customer you can give before here so right now i'm going to add after the customer so i'll be giving position after field name sale description so this is what you have to do inside the xml to just inherit the corresponding form view and you are adding a new field after the partner id so we have done with the xml now we have to specify this file inside the manifest file at else it will not be imported so if i go to the manifest file you can see we already have imported the patient.xml file so i'll be duplicating this line Control D and I'll be importing the sale.xml file. So that's done. I have imported the newly added file inside the manifest file. So now what we have to do is that simply I'll be just restarting the service as I have changed inside the manifest file. And now I'll be going into the UI and I'll be upgrading the hospital module. Right. So from here, I'll be upgrading the OM hospital module that is hospital management module. So once you've done that, and if you go back to the sale order, and if you open a new form you can see still the field is not visible here so let me check why it's not coming and if i go to the edit view form the inherited views will be coming here so here you can see the above view has been got added here but still it's not visible in the form so let me check why it's not coming after the customer so it's not coming here uh, let me check condo uh, edit view form and if i check the original form partner id it's not visible here so let me check might be the position issue i'll be changing after the payment terms payment term id so instead of giving after partner id i'll be placing payment term id payment term id position after so i'll be just restarting the service again and i'll be going into the browser and i'll be upgrading the module once again so let's see what happens so i'll be upgrading the module once again so let's wait until the module has been upgraded now i'll be going into the sales and if i open the form again still the field is not visible so there is something wrong so let me check 
if I go to the edit view form inherited views the views is there but still the field is not visible here so what is the wrong so let me try to figure it out why it's not coming so let me figure why it is not coming payment term id edit view form might be it has been rewritten in somewhere else um, let me check it's not here let me check it might be the position or has been rewritten in some other modules so let me verify that one position we are successfully added the view here but still it's not showing in the view so there is something wrong so let me verify why it's not coming so if you click on edit view form and if you search inside any other module position after still it's not coming so there is something wrong in what I have done or with audio 14 so it has to be coming so let me try another position like salesperson so might be this position has been inherited in some another module or I'm not sure and if I try to trace it out the video cannot be stopped here so I'll be doing one thing I'll be placing after the user ID so let me try that one so instead of editing here and upgrading what I will do is that from here edit view form I can edit the code that I have added so here you can see instead of payment term ID I'll be adding user ID after click on save save and if you refresh and if you check salesperson still the field is not visible so something wrong there let me try to figure it out so let me try adding here itself where is partner id field so this is the default form view and here we have the partner id so i'll be just directly editing here so directly editing the source code is a not recommended way because it will be lost once you upgrade the corresponding module so i'll be just adding editing and add the field here let me verify the field name it's sale description so i have added the field here sale description and i'll be clicking on save button and if i reload we can see it's coming so this is not a recommended way just i have directly edited the code so when you when i have added it here it's coming but this is not the way that we needed we have to add it inside the inherited view so once i add it here it's coming but we when we are adding inside inherited view it's not coming so let's verify so i have comment i'll be commenting this code which i have added inside the original code and i'll be going into the inherited view and i'll be placing partner id itself which which, which we have initially partner id and instead of giving beef after i'll be try with before save save so let's see so simply i have changed instead of after i have given before still it's not coming so what happens inherited view not sure what happens partner form view might be i'll be keeping this one as inactive just to ensure other modules are not affecting us i'll be keeping sale view order auto done settings i'll be activating the inactivating this form view and uh, let me refresh the screen again so still we don't have the field partner id is not coming still so let me try with payment terms payment term id edit view form payment term id do you, did you see payment term id yes it's here payment term id control c inherited views we have our view payment term id position instead of before i'll be giving position before sorry after save save and just reload so still we are missing something in oru 14 so this is not a big task but we are facing some issues why i'm not sure i have done seems i have done everything correctly or i think we might need to use xpath i'm not sure let me try for xpath or let me search inside position after inside the odoo source code itself find in path uh, i think this has been 
I'll try do for X path. I'll be searching for X path. I'll be copying this one. Let me copy an X path from other source code. So I'll be doing copying this one. Control C instead of giving like this. This is another method or another way of inheriting. So I'll be explaining that to Control Z X path expression. Control X. It's always good to have some errors while we are developing so we'll be keeping understanding the code much easier so i'll be giving the field name as field name x field name partner id so we are x path using just inheriting x path expression partner id position position after we are running so let me try this method so let's upgrade the module once again and see what happens so I'll be going into the apps menu and I'll be upgrading the hospital management module. So let's see what happens. So I'll be coming back to the sales. And if I click on here, you can see the sale description has been coming successfully. So in the previous versions, we can directly give field name and position after or before like that we are able to give like directly the method that we have tried initially but in order 14 i'm not sure whether it has been changed um, once i given like that it was not coming you know the method that we have given before so i'll be giving control c i'll be copying this and if i click on control z control z and if i click on control z where is that code yeah so we have tried this code in the previous versions it was coming correctly but i'm not sure why in the order 14 it's not working so you can give like this you can use an expert expression field that is slash slash field you have to give a double slash and we are going to export this field that is field at name partner id so this is the syntax export expression slash slash field partner id position after so after this field we are adding a new field called sale description so right now once we give like this you can see the sale description has been added here and if you need to add after payment term id payment terms you can see the technical name of this field is payment underscore term id so i'll be changing here so i need to add after payment terms so the technical name of the payment terms field is payment term id position after i have added this field so simply i'll be going into the apps menu i'll be upgrading this module so let's see what happens if i upgrade the hospital module again so once i upgrade previously the field has been added after customer now i have changed into the after payment terms so if i open the form you can see that sale description has been coming after payment terms so this is how we can inherit an existing form and add the field so if you need to inherit the tree view you can follow the same procedure so let's see this is the tree view and if i need to add a new field in the tree view you can follow the same procedure simply you can copy this record and you can paste it here and you can see that external id will be changing so let's see what's the external id of this tree view so you can click on here and you can see edit view list so here you can see the this is not the original view so i'll be clicking on this one you can see this is the view quotation tree so this is the external id of this view i'll be giving here view quotation tree the model name will be the same you can see the model is sale dot order and you can see instead of giving view order form inherit so we have used this id already so you cannot use multiple same id multiple times in the same module so i'll be giving view order tree inherit and the things are same model uh, give sale order inherited the name can be duplicated it's not to be in unique model name is given correctly inherit id is set an id is set now we have to set the x path so let's see where we can add the sale description inside the tree view so let's add after the customer so i know the customer i field name is partner id so here in the tree view i'll be giving like partner id after so after partner id that is after customer in the tree view we are going to add sale description so let's see what happens if i upgrade the hospital module again so let's go to the apps menu and let's upgrade the module so once we upgrade the module i think we will be getting the sale description inside the tree view so here you can see the sale description has been added into the tree view so if i enter 
if I open the form view and if I enter a value one two three and if I come back to the list view you can see it here so this is how we can inherit a form view or how to inherit a tree view and add new fields so if you have any queries suggestions or feedback don't hesitate to reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com and you can comment it out here also and if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel so that you will be getting notified regarding all the upcoming videos so that's it for this video have a nice day thank you